Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tyrone Hurst. I'm a firefighter paramedic for the Los Angeles Fire Department. Hey, listen, I've got some exciting news. 2022 is bringing the Los Angeles Fire Department hiring process is going to be opening up in just a few weeks. This is really important for anyone who is interested in the fire department. And this opportunity is actually very unique compared to some other job openings in the past. So I want to get go over a lot of the things that are going on right now. But first, I want to say please like and subscribe. Welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so let's jump straight over to the joinlafd.org website, which is the recruitment website for the Los Angeles Fire Department. Here you will see that the 2020 Firefighter Bulletin is still posted. And right here next to it, let me pull this up. You could take a look. It says the 2022 Bulletin is coming soon. Now, I imagine it's going to be fairly similar to this one that is currently posted. What's good about this video that I'm making is that you're, if you're following me, you're actually ahead of the game a little bit because the department hasn't quite yet put out all the information for everybody. So if you're following this page, I can walk you through step-by-step step everything you need to do to be prepared for the actual announcement when it does come. All right, so why is this job announcement going to be different from the other ones? Well, I'm going to tell you why right now. There is a shortage of firefighters in the department, and it's not just Los Angeles. Really, it's fire departments all across California. Um, up and down California, during the COVID, um, when it first started, departments had to stop hiring. They had to freeze hiring because they couldn't send anyone through drill towers. That created a backlog of firefighters that they needed to hire. Let's take a look at this video. Deputy Chief Stephen Gutierrez told me the academy training program has been reduced by about 300 hours to push these new firefighters out to stations by next month because of the extreme need for more firefighters on the front lines. Okay, so in that video, you saw that they reduced the drill tower. The drill tower is usually 22 weeks. They reduced it down to 14 weeks. That's because they need to pump out as many firefighters as possible. Last year in the fire department, they altered the way that they did the drill tower. It's going to be year round. So if you think about every 14 weeks, there is a graduating class of firefighters. That's a lot of jobs. That is way more than we've seen in the past that's pretty much gonna double the amount of drill tower classes that are coming through the fire department. For you guys, that is big. That means that there are gonna be a lot more spots for you to have an opportunity to get a job. That's in part because of planned retirements, plus increases in the number of calls and the uncomfortable reality of the pandemic. So that video briefly mentioned some really important things, retirements. 2022 and 2023 is going to bring a massive wave of retirements from the fire department. That means that they're going to need to replace these people that are leaving the department. That spells a giant opportunity for up and coming people who are looking to get hired. Another thing that's unfortunate, but I want to mention it, the mandate. It's kind of put pressure on people who disagree with the mandate, whether or not they want to continue working with the department. I'm not getting into it. I'm not pol political. I'm sorry. I will not respond in the comments about it. The fact of the matter is the mandate is coming down and you will need to be vaccinated to work for this department. So this is a snowball effect for the department. Unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be retiring. They didn't hire, but for you, what does it mean? Opportunity. You guys, if you've tried in the past and you weren't successful in the process, if you're from a smaller department and you're looking to get to a bigger department, this is your chance. If you failed in the past, you need to try again. Many people have, have taken them almost a decade to get hired by the fire department in the past. Now, you're not seeing that. You might get a job fresh out of high school. You might get a job fresh out of college. If you're leaving the military, listen, we are looking for you. This is a six-figure career, not a job, with full benefits. This could be a great spot and opportunity for you to take advantage of. I'm going to go back real quick to the Firefighter Bulletin. Now, there's a bunch of tabs up here. When they do announce the new hiring process coming in February 2022, I'm going to make a video and walk each one of you through the process. 
Um, so you're going to want to stick around to this page. I really want to try to help as many people as possible. All right. So there you have it. Thank you for sticking around through the end of my video. Listen, I want to help as many people as possible. I'm going to be here during your hiring process, the application interview during the drill tower and even the graduation when you start to hit probation. It would be my pleasure to try to help as many people as possible become successful. So please stick around, like, and subscribe. Thank you.